Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Mitch. And I'm Mrs. Mitch. What are you doing up there? Hey, for a few days I grew up. I'm now taller than you are. How did you get up there? Well, it's a little, little secret. I kiss bum. Anyway, <laughs> anyway folks. Anyway folks. Uh, again, we're um, doing a short little video. Uh, this time it's going to be about driving in Armenia or more importantly how to drive in Armenia yes. so without any further ado yes let's go yep Hello. so Mrs. Mitch uh, behind us we have what is known as a what a uh, sport complex no 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 that's not a sport complex. Ah, our car uh, our car yeah why is our car do you think unique in Armenia why unique? Yeah. Oh, because you're driving, that's why. No, 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 something else. Something else? Yeah. Oh, what else? What it's got to do with the mechanism of the car. A mechanism? Everything of... works on the car. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. True, true, true. Now, true. so this is a unique thing. Please take note. Everything works on our car. Indicators work. Engine works Tires. properly. Tires is new. Tires are perfect and everything works it, the only thing wrong with our car at the moment mrs because mitch after rain, is what after rain it became a little bit dirty it's very very dirty yeah so it's yeah. okay after so rain. we wanted to show you this mm -hmm. as an example of a fully functioning car a unique vehicle because in armenia the drivers are so good aren't they mrs mitch yes the you actually best of the best drivers in the world. You don't need to have a perfect car. No. You don't need to have good tires. No. Indicators working. No. Brakes working. No. 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 Because they can overcome all those obstacles, can't yes. they? Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's it's amazing. Yes. Oh yeah. Very very talented yeah. driver. You don't need driver license. Ah. You can drive how you want to drive. Exactly. Hooray. Okay. So, everyone, the first and most important thing before you start driving in Armenia is disconnect the brain this is most important and connect with the mobile phone turn the mobile phone on uh, make sure all notifications are on your mobile phone so you don't miss any chats any social media that might come when you're driving most important, you don't want to miss out on that because who knows, end of the world may, may be coming or something like that when you're driving. So have that on and preferably start texting before you even start the car. I think it's most important. What, would you agree with that, Mrs. Mitchell? Yes, I do. Okay, follow me around here. So I'm going to pretend that I'm actually talking and maybe texting right uh, on the phone hey, please excuse the mess uh, it's been it's raining rain. and yeah. it's we've got to wash the car yeah. so okay so as I said before you start the car engage the mobile disengage the brain because Armenian people, especially drivers, male drivers, not exclusively, but most, they don't, they're multitasking people, they multitask. So many things you can do at once and drive the car. Yeah, fantastic. It's fantastic. So yes. here's something that uh, we, the Armenian drivers eliminate so that they don't have to uh, be stressed about anything. This device here, this in, in the this West, is for decoration. In the West, show me, Mrs. This Smith. is decoration. No, no, it's what not a decoration. It's a seat yeah, it belt. Is. In Armenia, it's decoration. But they don't uh, use seat belts here. So even we're not when talking the cars about in Armenia, it's decoration. Because they like to save them yeah. to keep it like brand new. Yeah. 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 So yeah. that includes passengers, yes. children. Yes, and little children on your lap. Yeah, yeah. Children. Behind of steering. If you have a little child, most. Uh, not most, but some Armenian fathers love their children so much that they put the children on the lap, even mm. make them stand up mm. while they're driving along. Mm. 
So that's rather unique. And uh, also before we start, this gadget here, left hand drive cars, it's on the left, right hand drive cars, of course, the stalk will be on the right. But this is called an indicator. Mm -hmm. This is also a device which is not used in Armenia. No. I see people in the factory just they're just yep, stupid. You don't Why is it putting need, them there? You don't need an indicator no. because you just if you want to go in a certain direction you just go. You just cut in front of anybody anyway. Uh, this is not this is actually saving yeah. light bulbs. Yes. So there's a there's a reason yeah. uh, for behind it. of that. There's yeah. a reason. Yeah. And I think maybe if it's a good reason I've never thought of before. Yes. Yes. So that's but, why I can't understand how you've been police officer in Australia. Well, exactly. If My sergeant was some... obviously telling me something wrong. Yes. When he because said, he was... when he said, what did he say to me? He was saying, when you're behind of the steering, mm. always remember from four of your of your, of your sides, mm. around of you all idiots, including yourself. Yep. So and always remember mm -hmm. everybody or somebody waiting for you at home. Yeah. And uh, he also. And third one. Yeah. Are you idiot? That's, that's, uh, that's why you hurry to go to grave? No. So, I don't know. Uh, he also said that uh, the, your car is like a lethal weapon, weapon. or a yes. loaded gun. Yeah. More, yeah. So, the person behind the um, steering of yeah. that yes. loaded gun mm -hmm. should be fully focused on the job of driving that yeah. lethal weapon because yes. it can potentially yes. kill, yes. injure anybody, anyone. Cause terrible, terrible Child, accidents. Old, old person. In Armenia, it's not a loaded weapon. No. No. No, because they believe they they're, they're riding donkeys. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's a good point. Yes. So. Uh, yeah, you because know, donkey never crash. Donkey never crash. No. Yes. But guess what? In Armenia, you don't have to spend money to buy new tires. You can. Good point. The, you can drive them completely bald. Uh -huh -huh. And who cares if you kill somebody? That's a good point. Yeah. Mitch, yeah. I don't care. Most important is so me. Saving because money. me is me. Yeah, you know, I'm better than anybody. No, they're saving money. Anybody else? Yes. Oh, it's very good. I'm better than anybody good, else. It's a very good. That's point. how it works. Now we won't actually give you a demonstration of driving, although if you wish a further follow-up video to this one, because it's again we said it's very short. Mrs. Mitch, again she's on her way to work, aren't you, Mrs. Yes. Mitch? Yes. Sadly, um, but last yeah. day of work, Mrs. Mitch. Hello. Happy, Happy Friday. Friday. Hello. Yeah. Yep. And uh, Saturday and Sunday off. Yes. I start work. My hey, working. Monday, yeah, Monday back to duty. My working day starts around 9:30. So, yeah, so at six o'clock yes. or less, mm. maybe five, mm -hmm. we'll be joined together and have a nice weekend. Yes. Won't we, Mrs. Uh, Mitch? Yes. So, yes. yes, we won't actually give you a driving demonstration because that is a whole other subject. Yes. And uh, um, what we can say is one of the things that uh, is common in Armenia is that when you're changing lanes, you don't, as we, as we said before, you don't need to use an indicator. No. You just change. No. Uh, you just go. Don't worry about double lines. Don't worry no. about uh, can you cross here or no. no. You can go from short line on other side just a crossing of two lines. Yeah. This is fantastic. Yeah. Listen, I can't understand why people passing driving uh, uh, school lesson and passing exams. Why, 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 why we need police for? Oh. They can drive anybody how you want to drive. Exactly. That's what I said to you. People believe they drive, they, they, they on the donkeys, not in the cars. Yeah. Because donkey can go anywhere. So, a uh, common thing in Armenia is if you're driving along in maybe the outside lane or the lane nearest the center of the road, which, okay, say you're, say this is a two lane road and you're here. You're over, maybe you're overtaking another vehicle here, you're on a country road. What happens is, very common, is a car will come up from behind. Yeah. Ah, guess what? I want to give very good advice to all drivers in the world. Let's hang on. Wait, yeah. let, let's say Mrs. Mitch is the other car. No, 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 uh, no. Hang no, on. No, 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 no wait, wait. Yeah. You're the other car. Yes. What do you do, Mrs. Mitch? Well, my advice. F first of you're all, going to, you're going to come close to your uh -huh. car. Come close. You. Yeah, this is how close. close the... And you're starting to flash lights. Uh -huh. I mean, get out of and my way. And also, meep, meep. Yeah. 
and using gore, horn yeah. and say just like this way but mostly it's flashing lights yeah meaning get out of my way so i don't care if you have something dangerous in front of you uh -huh. i can't see anything front but going on in yeah. front of you i don't care because i have to go it's me uh, it's, it's very like, important me, me, because me. there's a very important yes. person coming yes. from behind without understanding mm. i can see only your back of your car yeah. but and literally what, and literally this car. is how close the some cars will get to you when they start flashing yes. their lights yes and beeping their and, horn and, not, and we're going at maybe 100 kilometers an hour or not, 90 not sorry braking car, not brake not not using brake not using brakes no they're using accelerator ah. to push you faster ah yes as fast as they can so go away on your own so here am i flying here and am guess I. what some i believe Mrs. so Mitch. Hang you're, on, you're hang on, car. on. <laughs> yeah hang on i believe so i believe so ah. i'm armenian and ah. i'm 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 really ashamed, oh. I'm really ashamed to say, but I believe so that 85% um, of Armenian drivers oh. working part-time as a pilot. Oh, yeah, true. you don't have to have, Maybe you don't have to have license This is a secret, Mrs. Pilot. Mitch. Yeah, you don't they have to have. They had a pilot license before yeah. a driver's No, you don't need this license, oh. you're getting automatically. Yeah. Because you end driver and, and you part-time yeah, oh, part as a pilot. So, I just so. want to say, uh, you're, as an example, yes. I'm the car behind, Yes. okay? Mm -hmm. You turn around because yeah. you're the car in front. Yes. I'm going like this. Where, where? Flashing lights, beep, beep. What do you do, Mrs. Mitch? You're I looking get, in the I'm mirror. Getting, I know, I'm getting terrified yeah. and I try, try uh, to do my best as yeah. soon as possible, go on the right. Yeah. And I'm pushing as a car and I don't care, care if some accident or something. I don't care I... because I want what I want. And if I want, I'm pushing everybody away. So it's my way. So, as you can tell, folks, this is a bit of a tongue in cheek. Yes. Uh, video. Yes. Uh, a, a huge, ex uh, not an exaggeration, but, but this be is tragedy. being very sarcastic very, yeah. about driving yeah. in Armenia. Yes. It's a serious subject, yes. and we wanted to make a little light-hearted to show you. Uh, this is one of the downsides. We yes. are sorry to say of yes. uh, life in Armenia. Yes. Um, we. I'm so thankful for my training in the police force. Yes, because uh, my instructors. We need we need we need <coughs> instructors like your instructor. My instructor. We need them uh, here in the police academy. Taught yeah. me how to drive defensively. Yes. And um, doing everything according to uh, the laws Safety. of the uh, road, mm -hmm. road traffic laws. Mm -hmm. And because when we're driving, um, it's very very easy to be distracted. So. Um, our plea to Armenian drivers, I don't care how old you are, I don't care whether you're an Always old Always remember. I don't care whether you've just started learning. Somebody waiting you at home and so, somebody waiting for me home. Yeah. So. So this is our, our message today. Please, please be a little, be much more careful. Mm. And, and concerned about life. 100% focus yeah. should be uh, uh, on the process of driving the car. Yeah and not on anything else yeah. forget the mobile phone and think phone. about of somebody's life the mobile too phone. you know you're not one who have a right to take somebody's life if you have to use a mobile use a hands-free totally or just put it away put the, and yeah. turn it off yes yes it's, is i was it, really, really i was really important? i was really amazed in australia when when drivers pulling on the left side because there is different uh, like you know direction of driving mm. they using mobile phone and they then switching mobile phone off and continue their driving Good on you to them. Good on you to all drivers around the world who uh, who abide road law. Because law road, as my <coughs> husband said, car is weapon. Be yeah. careful. So everyone, uh, this uh, this is the conclusion of this little video. No, no, no. At one point I forgot. Oh. If you're driving the car yes. and you want to be like you know ahead of me, oh. you push accelerator and then stuck under the red light traffic light. And I can't understand what you achieved. Just wasting your brakes? Oh, mm. Come on, give me a break. Little bit, use your brain. <laughs> no, yeah. we're supposed to switch the brain off before ah, we get Ah, brain in. off, yeah. Sorry, ah, sorry, You sorry. forgot. I'm sorry, I'm apologizing. the first yeah. point, the most yeah. important. Yeah. Okay, so again, uh, we're uh, filming this from the uh, sport and the, what's it called? The Entertainment no. and Sports Center yeah. or the Sports yeah. and Entertainment? Oh, oh, you know what I mean. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, we always come up here. Yeah. And uh, today, uh, just after the rain last night, very fresh morning. Uh, Beautiful. It's very thankful for that because it's been sweltering hot here the last maybe a week days. or a few days yeah. in the, near the 40s. Yeah. Now, 
see where that light pole is there? Right, at the top of that, Mount that Ararat. is Mount Ararat. Not a clear view, I thought it would be today, but too much cloud around and it's part of Yerevan that's uh, that's the um, what do you call that um, shopping center there yeah, Dulma. Dulma Dulma Gardens just before that high-rise there and over here we've got Mount Aragat just uh, just 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 Looks there. like connecting with sports center. Just there. Yeah. So, Mrs. Mitch. Yeah. It's bye from Mitch. And Mrs. Mitch. Eh. And we wish you safe driving. Yeah, safe yes, driving. It's very import important because innocent people dying because of idiots. Yeah. And this is very, very wrong. So, we love you all, don't we, Mrs. We Mitch? Do. We do. We uh, try to get back to filming um, uh, in the villages when we can. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't time re recently, but yeah, it's, a bit busy. Uh, it's yeah. our desire. Actually, there's a Australian uh, Kiwi uh, national uh, man who uh, is. Uh, we, we have to go and see his new project. He's built. Uh, he's building a um, a very important uh, complex. We'll yes. tell you about yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes. For the for the benefit of Armenians. Armenia, yeah. Uh, in Ar Ar Arani, Arani, which yeah. is near Noravank, mm -hmm. and a very beautiful part mm -hmm. of uh, Armenia, and we'll yeah. show you that very soon. We will. He we will. wants we'll us promise. to go and film there, so we will. Yes. yes. And uh, we'll tell you all about that project in the near future. We will. We will. So, God bless all of you. Yeah. Bye bye. We love okay. you. Okay. Bye. Bye.